Hey everybody, this is Matt and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. Thanks for watching. Uh, those of you who follow me on social media probably know that I have been sick as a dog after returning from the, uh, the NAMM show and I'm still getting over it. I'm really fatigued and it's just not <laughs> going that great for me. Um, we've got a NAMM show video coming and in fact it's going to be called Surviving the 2019 Winter NAMM show. And I got some cool, some cool stuff in there. I think it's going to be a fun video. Um, so watch for that. Um, but anyway, one of the things that uh, we we talked about while we were there was doing a series of videos about um, deep dive videos about things that you guys have have constantly asked for. And one of those things is compound radius. So we've already made a video. You've probably already seen it um, called you know making a compound radius. I don't even know what it's going to be called. But um, what we essentially did was we built a neck, a surrogate neck with a compound radius. This, um, this neck was, was out, in the, out in the shed and it has a headstock that we can't use anymore. Um, this is not ever going to become a neck. It doesn't even have a truss rod. It's got a, it's got a slot for the old school style truss rod that we use. But what it does have is it has a fretboard and um, it has a, actually it's, it's a compound radius in that it is well, it's really not a compound radius, is it? It's a conical radius. So, what is a compound radius? Um, or, in this case, a conical radius. That is, it is a fretboard that starts at one radius. In this case, it starts at 10 inch radius at the nut. And it goes to um, right about 15 inch radius down here at the heel. So, if you imagine a cone has a a tapered, a tapered, this kind of shape. And you've all seen this, this classic uh, picture. Um, now, remember, <laughs> a neck doesn't go to a point and go to six inches at the end. It goes from about one and five eighths to one and eleven sixteenths to two and an eighth to two and a quarter, depending on what the neck is. So you don't have that much, um, that much difference here. But what I want to show you guys is here is my Stumac radius gauge and it is set at 10 and right now that's about exactly perfect let me see if I can make this in the camera at 10 now if we leave this here and switch it you'll see a gap of light I hope you can see that well we're gonna, again we're gonna deep dive anyway so it gets quite a bit flatter down on the heel end so the theory behind this makes perfect sense because you don't take a piece of um, a tube and make that your neck. That is to say you have a little bit slimmer profile here than you do down here at the heel end. If you didn't then you could have it be you know uh, 10 inch all the way down and you wouldn't have any theoretical issues. The problem is that most people there's so many <laughs> just that the radius of the fretboard is really just the tip of the iceberg. So we are going to deep dive into what the theories are behind this and um, why they're important to some people and why they're who they're important to and who they don't seem to be that important to. And uh, then we're going to finish it all up with a live Q&A um, about compound radiuses. So stick around for that. If you guys have any questions, now is a great time to get them to me so we can answer them um, in the video series. Uh, so, um, stick around, watch the videos. If you got any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below and we will address those in future videos. We're probably going to do two or three of these videos and really deep dive into this. Um, uh, so watch the video we made of us making this compound radius. It was, it was very anticlimactic. Um, it was surprisingly easy to do on our machine. Having said that, I do not see any real reason to, um, to switch to a compound or conical radius um, because we still have to remember just the fretboard is just the tip of the iceberg you still have to press the frets in beat the frets in with a hammer um, you still have to level and dress all that stuff so um, and there's a teaser for the next video it's all going to depend on where the bridge is and what bridge you intend on using so um, like I say, comment and, and share and all that stuff, and we will see you guys for the next video. This is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that if you're so smart, build it yourself. That's what I do. Thanks for watching, everybody. I wanna play my guitar,